Hi guys, my name is Anna, and today I'm reviewing another Korean show, and that's All of Us Are Dead. It's currently number one on Netflix after Squid Game topped the charts about four months ago, and this makes Korea the first country to place multiple non-English shows on top of Netflix US's top 10, and I'm sure there will be more to come because Korea's just really good at making content. So All of Us Are Dead is a 12-episode zombie series set at a Korean high school following a group of students who are stuck and trapped and they go through very various horrifying situations until, you know, they get rescued. Spoilers ahead! So if you haven't watched it and you don't want to get spoiled, click off now. There's a lot of blood, violence, guts, you'll see actual zombies eating guts and like bones cracking and so if that's not for you, don't watch it. Personally, I don't really like zombie content, but some of the shots in this whole series I just was mesmerized by. So from the first scene already, the first five minutes, it completely draws you in. I was already hating it because it was so violent and graphic, but definitely drew me in. This one boy is getting bullied by these other kids and they're being horrible, like kicking him, like just, just the absolute worst. And his rage he does like funny body movements and he basically kind of turns into what you would assume like a zombie. And then the next scene is you see the boy strapped up to the bed all bruised and beaten up. And then the dad, he literally thumps him over the head with the Bible and I was like, what on earth is happening? Like what is wrong with everybody in this so far? <laughs> <laughs> he just killed his own son, what an asshole! And then my thought was, how did Jinsu, the boy that was getting beaten, how did he turn into a zombie? Was it just because he was getting beaten up and he felt all this rage? Like, how does that happen? And then for the whole rest of the series, how the zombie virus came to be is explained through a series of like video logs that the dad made throughout his whole experiment. Long story short, the dad is a science teacher at the high school and the son was always getting bullied and beaten around. That you see this one scene where the bullies push him into a washing machine and like shut the door and all that nasty stuff. So the dad, the teacher, he found that when you corner animals, for example rats, when they're you know at the most frightened, when they're getting chased by a cat, they release this chemical or hormone that basically makes you like rage and like fight back against the attacker. Basically the fight or flight response basically adrenaline. So he takes that chemical out of a rat and he decides to inject that into his own son, thinking that if he can't defend himself, then maybe this will help. And even if he lives as a monster, that will be the better option than him just getting bullied and beaten all the time. That was his reasoning. Which, uh, I mean, I understand, but it's clearly not a good idea. And then this whole zombie apocalypse happens from that. So if I talk about the things that I liked about this series first, Number one, like all the zombie acting is so good. I don't know how they like contort and twist their bodies in that kind of way, but everyone's zombie acting is just on point and it's super realistic. All the action scenes with all the zombie fights, those are like the best parts of the series in my opinion. There's this one scene in episode two when all the zombies come into the cafeteria and mayhem ensues and that whole cafeteria scene is filmed in one long ass take. The way the camera pans and it follows like all the chaos and action, it really makes you feel like you're right in the middle of it. It was amazingly filmed and I thought that was one of the best scenes. There's a funny bit in episode 2 where they've managed to lock themselves into a classroom and the zombies are like behind the glass. There's like one phone that they can use but it belongs to one of the zombies. So they try to like hold it up to her face to use face ID to try and unlock the phone but obviously the zombies are like Rrr. So <laughs> it doesn't work and I just like that made me laugh. Some of the characters I liked, I, I definitely didn't like all of them, in fact most of them, <laughs> but definitely some of the characters I liked. The whole archery group, especially those two girls, I liked them. They were really badass and they actually took action and they progressed and tried to make stuff happen, whereas I can't say that for all the girls, but that's like the writer's fault. And also the chubby guys in both groups. They always put like the chubby characters for comedic relief and they were definitely those kind of characters. There's this one part where nobody like high fives him or gives him a handshake so he's like okay and he does it himself. Um, that's funny. What I don't like about the show, and I think a lot of people have said the same thing, that it's just way too long. It's 12 one hour episodes and there's just so much unnecessary bloat and fluff in it that could have been cut out and like nothing would have been missing really. What makes it really Korean drama style is like all the like emotional teenage love line things going on. When they're in the middle of like a zombie apocalypse, they're trying to like have this like really slow 
oh, like glances and like they have like a kiss scene and I'm just like oh my god <laughs> you're you're trying to survive like this is not the time for this and definitely some bits were just unnecessary I found myself kind of like zoning out in like of quite a few of the episodes but to be fair I watched the whole series in a day to do this video and <laughs> I would not recommend that like it's just not good for you so the boys especially the two main ones they are like badass and they're self-sacrificing and they're super good at parkour they can climb stuff kick everyone and really active and fit and like i was super impressed the girls though i don't really like unjo i just don't like her character because she is so passive and just scared and just like standing there namla as well she was she really didn't do much for most of the show until right at the end when she you know turns into like the half zombie unjo she seemed a bit pathetic to me you know in zombie films or shows there's always the stupid people who are just standing there and, like watching as the zombies are coming at them unjo is like one of those girls there's a bit at the end where namra doesn't feel like she can control her zombie side and so she's like saying stay away and then unjo's like no come with us like no i was like bitch she's told you to stay away then freaking stay away you know and then she almost gets bitten because she's like this i was like come on girl just try to survive <laughs> and also in episode one where one girl hyunju she goes into the science like lab and then she hears a box rattling making sounds and she's like oh i'll go and look at what that is who on earth does that you're in a deserted science lab if you hear a box rattling and it's moving you can see my instinct would be like i'm getting the hell out of here but she just goes over she's like i wonder what's in here opens it up and like the rat bites her and she becomes a zombie like people are so dumb in zombie movies and shows <laughs> if you're getting attacked by zombies everywhere obviously your main instinct is to survive that's like your number one priority but people are letting their emotions get in the way yes it's difficult to see your best friend or your mom in, in zombie form but you have to realize that once they've turned into zombies they're not your mom or your friend anymore you know so like people are like, wasting time or trying to like save the zombies or whatever kids please control your emotions and just please try to survive there's a whole lot of social commentary throughout this whole series for example the extreme bullying at school and there's a girl being a victim of revenge porn and she later wants to commit suicide and the kids talk about how hard it is to get into a good university and how competitive it is there's also a live streamer or a youtuber who willingly goes into the midst of all the zombie action to try and get you know views and likes that's very realistic because there are youtubers and streamers who, are, who will genuinely behave like this and that very much reminded me of black mirror there's a line in an episode where the science teacher he says humanity has never beaten the virus and i was like oh my god that hits too close to her right now there were so many references to the 2014 sewer ferry disaster which killed 304 people mainly kids in korea the part where the kids are like video recording their goodbyes just in case the various yellow ribbons the line where one of them says oh i don't trust adults the bit where they get almost rescued and then ditched all of that is referring to that disaster which was one of the biggest tragedies that happened in korea and you see a lack of humanity in so many of the characters there are like two instances where the friends kind of betray their group but once they do that they get karma and they get like zombified the biggest evil character in the whole series is nayan the pink sweater girl and oh my gosh she is the biggest bitch i've ever seen literally the zombies are nicer than she is i wish i'd never come across someone like that in my actual life but i mean props to the actress she was in squid game and she is a really good actress she's very good at playing that role you will not find a character that you find yourself hating more than you will this girl it's unbelievable how horrible she is and then some of the characters get turned into a half zombie and essentially they are just neither human nor zombies so they're basically always trying to fight the monster that's inside them and they have like superhuman strength and they're basically impossible to kill they keep like resurrecting especially kinam and i am 100 percent sure there's going to be a season two of this that's going to focus more on these you know half zombies especially how the season one of this ended with namra saying there's many of us she's also a half zombie there's going to be a season two in conclusion my main takeaway from this series was if you want to survive a zombie apocalypse you have to be fit so everyone start working out right now if you cannot run fast and hard and if you do not have the upper body strength to pull yourself up to cross over walls and windows and whatever you're going to die so this is why everyone needs to get themselves to the gym 
and get yourself strong and fit and active so you'll be able to survive if something like this happens for real. This series is worth watching, I think, especially like the camera and the action shots are really impressive and done well. And it is entertaining for the most part, but there is a lot of bloat and sections that could have been cut out. That was my problem with it. So my rating for All of Us Are Dead, I would give this a 6.5 out of 10. So that was it for this review. Go to the gym right now and get fit and active. And also don't betray your friends. That's the message. See you in the next one.